What's going on, you guys? Local John 1812. Camera mom. Camera mom. Okay. Uh, we are getting ready to... What were you on? Uh, Tri-State Restaurant Reviews. So there was some... Um, that's locally for us, the Tri-State area where we live. And uh, locally for us here in our city in Evansville, we are going to try a new place called... Franco's. Franco's. And... Um, we haven't been there, obviously. It's new. Uh, we don't know what to expect. Only from the reviews, we know kind of what to expect. Mm -hmm. People talk about, you know, garlic knots, Italian salad, rigatoni carbonara, their nine-inch pizza, and cannolis. So we're going to go over there. We're going to have some regular lunch, but then we're going to try and review for you guys on camera the cannolis. Mm -hmm. So um, what's that hard word I can't say? Uh, Since they are a Sicilian restaurant. Sis, sis, never mind. What Sicilian. she said. What she said. <laughs> hey guys, we're here at Franco's, and we already have our cannoli on the table, and we were just going to review that, but I think in the title, I'm definitely going to have to put that it's a review of the uh, cannoli and calzones that we bought because these calzones look very, very good. Unlike some type of Pizza Hut or something calzone, these things look extremely authentic and good. What kind did you get, Cameron? Um, I got pepperoni, bacon, green peppers, green olive, onions, cheese, and sauce. I got pepperoni, green peppers, black olives, cheese, uh, onions, of course. There's the sauce. And uh, they also put some type of feta cheese type stuff at the bottom, right? Mm -hmm. Remember? And these are $7.95 each. You build your own. You build your own. And uh, the cannoli was about, I think, five, wasn't it? Five something. Something like that. Something like that. Because seven, Maybe seven, less. Maybe less. So, um, we're going to find out if these are good. I, they look good, guys, so. Oh, you also got spinach. Yeah, I got spinach, too. That's right. There's the inside. Look at that. Very nice. Oh, banana peppers also. Did you say that? No. I don't even know. Wow. So cheesy. What do you think? <laughs> Taste is very good. Very good. Let's, let's have you try yours. Okay. Oh, it's also got pesto on it. You can stick pesto on it. Mm. Good? Mm-hmm. I tried to cut it, but there was no cutting that. No cutting it? Yeah, that's really, really good. And the little setup they got up there, I don't know if we can see it from here. We'll zoom in a little bit, but you guys know how we are. This is where we're sitting at. So, but we're going to continue to uh, finish these up, and then we'll come back with the cannoli. So, uh, yeah, I was showing her as if she was talking, but she wasn't moving her lips. So, we're going to finish up these and come back with the cannoli. So, we'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, we are back outside Franco's. We are going to try the cannolis out in the vehicle. Uh, it started to get busy for lunch. Oh, yeah. So we had to come out. Well, a couple things we want to clarify real quick. Um, the dough that they used for the calzones I thought was good. Um, I think you said it could use a little bit more like butter or some type of garlic seasoning stuff on top or something. Yeah. yeah. But other than that, it was good. Um and we did find out the price of the cannoli for sure. It's three dollars and fifty cents, and um, so I don't think that's a bad price. Uh, we took a picture of the cannoli earlier. We showed it on the table. Did we show it on the table? Mm -hmm. And then camera mom tried to cut it in half because we got one to try, and uh, she tried to cut it in half, and it kind of just like broke. So I think she's gonna it, give it me crushed in the middle. Crushed in the middle. There's some chocolate chips in there. There's this cherry on top. That's a cream cheese, right? With chocolate chip. And maybe. Oh wow. 
Wow. That is great. Mmm. Mmm. But yeah, here it is here. I'm going to actually bite into mine here in a second since I get in talking more. There's her. She got a way bigger piece. Oh, I um, didn't. You have more bring yours stuffing. Up. Mine's empty on one side. Okay. But anyways, so on the calzones, though, your, your face is not completely in. You need to scoot over more. <laughs> on the calzones, though, on a scale of 1 to 10 on the calzones, I gave that a solid... I give the calzone a solid 8. N 9. You give it a 9? I give it an 8. Uh... I agree. If a little bit extra butter stuff on that, I probably would have gave it a nine or a ten. But I think overall, overall, but though, maybe that's not authentic. Yeah, maybe that's just what we're used to. That's right. Might be what we're accustomed to. But it was good though. Regardless, it was oh, good. Yeah. I mean, it just I, I thought it was I thought it was great. I will definitely buy it again. And you also could build your own pizza for like six ninety five. Something like that. Yeah, because it was seven ninety five for the calzone. Building your own calzone. Building your own pizza like six ninety five. I think. So that's not a bad idea. I think next time I come, I might build my own pizza. Oh, yeah. But let's go ahead and try the cannoli now from Franco's. Oh, that look crushed. The shell? That's all I got on that bite, but that's good. But I got a little bit of a piece of this already. Camera mom, get your, get your phone out and look up uh, what's inside a cannoli for sure. Let's see. I'm going to get to my purse underneath my coat. Man, this is good. That cherry. <laughs> that cherry juice just coming down there on that. I don't know if we can see it or not. There it is. That cherry juice coming down is really strong. But it's good. I've had a cannoli before. I don't know what that was. I had a cannoli before at a local grocery store. And they were okay. But this definitely tastes more... It tastes different. It just tastes different, period. I mean, it looked the same as the one in the grocery store. They have probably the same ingredients. I don't know. I'm pretty sure Franco's, maybe he's using more... Um, what's that word again? So, Sicilian, mm -hmm. Sicilian, um, and more Sicilian style ingredients versus just like, I don't know, local <laughs> ingredients. I'm not for sure, but I think that might be the case because these things are good. Okay, so what is cannoli cream made out of? In the same mixy bowl, add ricotta cheese, powdered sugar, vanilla, and cinnamon. And then he added chocolate chips. Fold in whipped cream and chocolate chips. Oh, yep, there they are. Chill the cream. Okay, and then... Traditional cannoli, cannoli, cannoli Siciliana. Cannoli are basically crisp, sweet, crunchy tubes which are filled with a cream or ricotta cheese filling, often flavored with cocoa, nuts, chocolate, or candied fruits. And I got that cocoa, coconut taste. Did you get it? Did you say coconut, right? No. Cocoa. Cocoa. And also, I taste cinnamon in the, um... Yeah. Crust. In the crushed the shell the tubes that's delicious so the franco's cannoli on a scale of one to ten i'm gonna give it a solid one being worse ten being the best i'm gonna give it a solid ten what are you giving the cannoli ten a ten the price is good the cannoli was good overall franco's being a new establishment here in the tri-state what do you give it on a scale of one to I ten? Give it a ten i give it a ten too i definitely food's great yeah the way you come in and order it's great. Yep. I mean, it, it's a different experience. Yep. And then the decor, it it's really nice in there. I I, I got to the show you just furniture and everything. Um, we only got to show you just a little bit. We we are very nice when we when we record. We don't like to get other people in. We mm -hmm. took a picture earlier. She took a picture. She kind of snuck the picture, but we didn't get anybody else in the shot. We wish we could have showed you. I I don't know if that was Franco cooking or not, or who it was. Oh, but, I'm sure it was. But we wish we could have showed you cooking. So, Franco, if you see this video and would like us to come back in and, and allow us to kind of film you doing some stuff, we'd love to do it. But uh, we were just polite, and that's just how we are. But overall, Franco's is a great place in the Tri-State area, Evansville, Indiana. Come out and try it. Scale of 1 to 10, they give Franco's a 10. Mm -hmm. So the cannoli's a 10. I gave the calzone an 8. She gave it a 9. And we both gave the cannoli's 10. And we both gave the restaurant a 10. So, yep. well, that's all we got for now, guys. We'll try to be back by Sunday. So don't forget to like. 
subscribe. Subscribe. Suga. Suga scribe. And uh, comment and share. I took your oh, yeah. last one because you were going to mess up on that one and called it Sharain or whatever. <laughs> Leave me alone. She's just so happy for the cannoli. I don't know. So, all right, guys. We'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye.